One of the projects that I've enjoyed most is uh, focusing on gender diversity in organizations, specifically looking at the double, mo double bind many women leaders face, trading off between likability and competence. And my background is in sociology, and I generally focus on issues of inequality, so this is kind of right up my alley. I did a short memo on this double bind issue for women leaders, and the portions of that memo went directly into a paper that my professor is writing on gender diversity. I was really, really happy to see that the, the work that I had done was to make an impact. What I've been doing, um, the big project, is essentially to take a look at uh, the largest leverage buyouts that have happened and then try to get a sense for their pricing data. Why have deals priced the way they have? Um, had, does it have something to do with the fact that it was an auction process when the deals were, were um, um, uh, transacted? Were there multiple bidders in the transaction? Um, was management part of the team, uh, uh, part of the acquiring group? Was it a club deal, meaning was it collusion in prices? And all of these things affect pricing, and it's really interesting because now that I've kind of dug in and done, pulled up all the data, um, drawing conclusions from the analysis is really fascinating. It involved me going to Brazil to, to understand how a particular product was developed for a bottom of the pyramid market. Went to the company and was, was there for three days uh, with a very specific purpose of get the actionable behaviors of how this company created this innovation and how they brought it to market and try to understand managerially how that happened. The topic of the book deals with more theoretical concepts of capitalism and democracy and it's a compilation of his own theory on those different systems and then different cases throughout the world that illustrate the points he wants to make. I got really fortunate in that when I joined, joined him in this work and I I um, became employed by him, I got to actually write a chapter of the book, which was a very empowering experience, uh, very frustrating at times, took a long time to do, but it's, it's such a great accomplishment to have under my belt. The work that I'm doing currently is focused on uh, incorporating uh, rural villages in Gujarat in India into various forms of financial services, uh, one of which is weather insurance another of which is small-scale futures markets. Um, the work that I do primarily are in a specific methodology in evaluating social pro programs uh, in development, uh, which are called randomized evaluations. So we basically look at the data and we try to figure out what kind of impact a program is having. It was a case study about the Attorney General of New York who was attempting to uh, enforce financial regulation against mutual funds, big Wall Street firms, and insurance companies, some of whom had been committing fraud. Um, and the federal government had not really been getting after them. And uh, so the question was kind of, is this a good way to, to uh, regulate financial industries? After all, if the federal government's not doing it, you know, why shouldn't the Attorney General of New York be doing it?